Hello everybody, this is Shalisa with So She Designs. Today I have a fabric haul that I wanted to show you guys some things that I got from a couple different places. So if there's something that you're interested in, stay tuned so you can see what I got. first fabric that I want to show you is this um, knit. It's really cute. And my friend um, Karen, Karen from So Like a Costume Designer gave me this. It's two yards. And I felt like this view A would be really cute to do with that fabric. It's really cute. It's like a a spa theme fabric. And I thought that would be really cute to do these pajamas in that. So I'm gonna do those. Don't know when, but that's what I'm gonna do with that fabric that she gave me. Um I also bought this fabric right here. This is a um an Ankara fabric from House of Mommy Washa on Etsy. Uh, I think I only got two yards of this fabric. I might, yeah, I think it's two yards. It may be three. But I thought it was really beautiful. I purchased this. I purchased the full six yards of this fabric um, from French Connections. And this is in North Carolina. But I thought this was pretty as well. What I'm going to do with it, this is, yeah, this is the full six yard. This was on sale, guys, for $5.50 a yard. So the full six yards was only $33. So what I'm going to do with this, I don't know. I'm thinking about um like a full length dress. But, the, you know, colors being so dark. This I probably won't sew this up until fall again. Probably around October because I feel like those colors kind of give me Halloween vibes. Uh, what I have next is All Fabric Mart. So one of the things that I purchased first from Fabric Mart was they, they had bundles. Um, they had bundles of wool on sale. And in getting the wool, my friend and I feel like we I have two different grades. So I think this is the rougher of the two. But I purchased these to make coat, coats. And one of them she felt felt like felt better. Yeah, no, this the smaller one is the rougher of the two. Because this one feel way, say feels way different. So the one that feels the best of the two is two and a half yards. So I have to get it dry clean before I can um make my coat, which is I'm gonna make the coat closer to when it gets back cold because it is starting to warm up but it was on sale the two yard pieces were ten dollars so it's five basically five dollars a yard so i got two of those because i didn't know how much i was going to need for a coat but regardless of the feel it's supposed to be 100 wool so i will probably make two different style coats but um what I was thinking was making the coat and doing a fun lining. So I purchased this fabric and I, for the life of me, I could not remember why I purchased this fabric. It was really, really, really cheap, um, but it is a lining fabric. So one of the, um, I wanna make this vintage style pattern, this simplicity, it's like, it's like a poncho, but it's a coat. I wanna make this and I'm gonna make this my lining. So I think that'll be fun and cute. So that was the purpose of what I figured out, went back to see what kind of fabric it was used for. I was like, oh, I was gonna do a lining with that. So I did that. Um, I would also like to make this coat, but I also, I wanted to make this coat um, color blocks with different colored wool. However, if I have enough, I will use some of the wool to make this coat. 
and I purchased this. It's a 100% polyester fabric. Really, really pretty. It was $3. No, it was $6 a yard. And I got three yards because it was saying that it could be used for different types of things. And I was thinking I was going to use it to actually make a coat. But now that I feel it, I don't know if it's going to, I don't, it's not, it's not going to be worthy of being a coat, but it could be the lining. And I have a light colored coat that I'm working on. So I'm thinking about putting this on as my lining. So I feel like that was really beautiful. A really good pop of color for a lining. Um, I don't know if it'll make a good skirt, but I feel like for a lining on the on the the tan color jacket that I'm thinking of, I think that'll be a really good pop of color for the inside. I purchased five yards, and it was eight dollars a yard, and it is a bingaline bingaline b e n g a l i n e suit suiting fabric. It is so nice. This is that Mimi G pattern. The one where she has the, the um, blazer and the pants and the shorts. So I purchased this to make that. This is so nice, guys. And it has a little stretch to it. So that's going to be really nice when I, when I finish that. Again, something that probably won't get done until closer to fall. Because I am making the one with the pants. So that was the purpose of this this um fabric right here i also these are the fabrics i just like them and so i got them um not really sure what i'm gonna make but again all of this came from fabric mart and this is a 100 percent polyester zigzag print but i thought it was really cute flowy for a dress Really nice material. So this will be cute for coming up um, summertime dress. I purchased this and I um, honestly don't know why. I think I wanted to know what poplin was like. This is a stretch, a diagonal plaid print stretch poplin. And I'm pretty sure that's the reason I purchased this. I only got two yards and I got, um, it was 450 a yard. When I do order these i do look and see what they're normally used for so i'm sure this is used for like maybe a shirt or a skirt so i'm thinking a nice skirt and maybe a matching i don't know maybe something to match it a bag with what's left over after the, i make the skirt but i only got two yards and but i thought it was a, i love the print i like the print maybe a nice long a high-waisted skirt that's long pencil skirt or something that that probably would be cute i purchased this to make a dress i love this i think it is so cute it was on sale for 510 a yard and i got three yards but i like how it has the bottom and this is going to be a dress but this is i want this at the bottom of the dress i think that is so cute and the rest of the fabric looks like this and did i say did i say what kind it just says uh, scrolls double border polka dot print. Oh, it's a 100% cotton. So yeah, I purchased this to make a dress. I think that is so gorgeous. That's really pretty. I have a dress in mind that I would like to make with that. I'm not sure if that's gonna happen, but if I can remember again, let's see, I may have it. This isn't what I had in mind, but this would be cute, Butterick. 6446 that'll be cute with that material this bow pattern would be cute again this isn't what i was thinking of but that would be gorgeous with with that look how that flows that would be really gorgeous this is what i was thinking about simplicity 9543 so all great contenders for this material um, i was thinking about this one in particular um but i don't know i'm feeling feeling the vogue vogue might win this this um view right here so yeah i'm actually feeling the vogue so it may win let's see if i have enough um let 
nope, I don't have enough for that one. But I let's see if I have enough for this one. I have enough for this. Yeah. So I don't have enough according to the what it requires, but I have enough for these. I have enough for these two. So these two are contenders. And I don't know. I was thinking about this. This dress, I love the front and how it's made right here. I'm just not crazy about how the back is made. But I'm going to make it and, and see what happens. And the fit may, be, may outweigh my insecurities. But this is so cute too. I would do probably do that view with that. I don't know. You tell me. What do you think? Which which one would you pick, Butterick or Simplicity, for the polka dot? And I got three yard. I have three yards. This will be at the bottom of the dress, and both of them call for two yards and some chain. So I, those would be great patterns for that. I purchased this pat this um fabric. I purchased three yards. It was three sixty a yard and. It doesn't tell me what it is, but I thought it was really flowy and cute for a dress as well. I'm not a big big dress person, but I bought a lot of fabric to make dresses because I would like to start wearing more dresses. But I thought this was just beautiful for a dress. I don't know if you can see like the little ribs in it. I thought that was so pretty. This might, it's three yards of this. This might be a, um, this one might be a better contender for this dress, actually. Yep. But we shall see. I like it. I, I just love the, the little fold in it, the little ribbon. I think that is so nice. Um, it makes it look, look, look nice to me. Um, I have one more fabric, so hold on, guys. So I purchased this fabric. This is, I, I just wanted to know what the height was behind the Liberty of London. And someone explained to me it's the way they turn their threads or something. It's a, some big secret, and it makes it feel. But anyway, this was on sale one day at Fabric Mart for $17.99 a yard. I got a yard and a half because y'all already know I'm cheap. And seventeen ninety nine was already, it was busting out my budget that I want to spend on some fabric. However, I needed to feel this fabric for the gods that is everybody is so into. But however, mine is a poplin. It's not a lawn. However, it feels good. <laughs> so my intentions with this, this isn't a print. I probably would have just picked up, but it was on sale and I wanted to see how I feel. And I do like the feel of it. Um, my intentions are to make a, and y'all know I'm always talking about, I don't like my arms out, but everything I keep making have my arms out. See how I be learned. Anyway, my intentions with this, because it's only a yard and a half, is to make a shirt that is a sleeveless shirt, but I would like it to have like a little tie, a tie at the top. So that's my intentions with that. I almost forgot these. I ordered the, it's like, it's a craft bundle from February or something. Anyway, it's only $6, but your pieces are from a yard to a yard and a half big. So I just wanted to show you guys what I got from the craft bundle. It is not marked, so like I say, I'm learning fabrics, but I I felt like I, I was feeling the craft bundle. It was, it was really nice. I might order another one. It's, it's kind of like a mystery bag, guys. But I, I like this fabric. And it's flowy. It's probably a little rayon or something, so I could make one of those little sleeveless shirts with that. But I got a lot of knits. Which, um, like this one is just a yard. And this is a navy. 
I got this knit. This is a gorgeous blue. Gorgeous. It, feel, it feels like it's a, maybe a tad more than a yard. But I'm glad I got those solid colors because I wanted to make co solid color shirts. So that kind of helped me out. This would, be, this would be another cute little tank. A little cute little tank top. If, if not for me, for the grandbabies. And I love this burnt orange color. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Well, I was very, very thankful to get those in my little mystery bag. I, I really wasn't, um, for $6, I really wasn't even disappointed with any of it. And I also got like this little thin denim. This is going to be a very cute shirt. I'm going to do color blocking with this one. So for $6, I got one, two, three, four, five, I got six pieces of fabric. So this was my $6 bundle from Fabric Mart. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys on the next video.